Welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to show you uh, a quick and easy way to edit videos using Shotcut. Shotcut is a free software um, for actually Windows OSX, OS X and Linux. Um, and it's what I use to make videos really, really quickly. Um, basically after you script everything out and you record it, then um, it's just very easy to use, but I'm going to show you some tricks on how I uh, do everything relatively quickly whenever I'm chopping up a video. So first I have uh, two video or a video recorded and I record the audio separately. Um, if I use, well, yeah, I just record the audio separately because I want to use a different program. I use Audacity uh, to record audio. I use usually Voco screen if I want to do screen recording or a camera if I want to do video. So first we open up Shotcut and I click on playlist and I can see now that I don't have anything inside my playlist. So first I just drag in uh, the uh, video clip and it shows the video clip and it kind of shows a preview and then I drag in the audio clip and it also previews the audio clip. Um, so next, because I only need those two things, I'm not really adding any special effects or anything like that. I just need to edit it um, and sync up the audio and video. Then I just drag the video down. And in the um, this bottom timeline, uh, the video should show up in the timeline. So next, I want to right click and add audio track. And then there's this empty track. I have my audio file here, so I want to click on it and drag down to where it says overwrite. I don't know if you can see kind of behind a little bit. Well, let me do it here. You can see overwrite here. I don't want to overwrite my video track. I want to go down to audio and the green bar changes. Um, so just click, um, click it down to the audio track where it says overwrite and then release and it will drag it in there. Now the problem is um, it's actually moved the, the audio track over a little bit. So ne next thing I do is change the view. So right over here is the view and I want to reduce or, or um, uh, zoom out of the timeline. So now I've zoomed out of the timeline. The video track is this long. The audio track is this long. So I just drag the audio track over and then move the um, uh, playhead, I think it's called the playhead, the playhead over all the way to the right and then zoom back in because now I need to do some specific things. So because I'm recording audio and video separately, um, I need to kind of have a, a, an area where I sync up the tracks. So you can see here that I've actually, I think, clicked the keyboard a couple times um, to um, sync everything up and I have, yeah, so I've synced everything up. So I need to actually move the audio track because I usually start that second. Because I work on the audio before I import it in, I have about 10 seconds of, um, let's say, n no, no sound. That way I get um, a noise profile that I can filter out. And then I have some, some noise here. So I'm going to listen for a click. And the click happens about here. You can see if you zoom, if you can see that a little bit. I have a little bit of a bump right here, and that should be the first click. So then, if I put the playhead right over where the click kind of ends, then I can drag my video file to that point, and it will snap in because it has this snap in uh, or magnet um, uh, enabled. So then I can check it, and that's just about right. So whenever the click of the mouse kind of goes up. I don't know if you can hear it, but whenever the click of the mouse goes up, the video should turn on because that's whenever I'm starting to record. Now I want to go to the area where I've actually made sounds. And everywhere that I can hear that I'm pressing the down key, the, the slide should change. And that sounds about right. So then there's just some noise. And then there's where I actually start speaking. So basically everything before this is getting ready and syncing and everything like that. So I can remove now uh, this video and this audio. So the video is selected. You can see the red, uh, red box around it. If I just right click and do split at playhead or hit the S button, then it will split the video into two. And then I click on the audio. I don't want to move the playhead at all, but I want to click the audio and then split that as well. And then I can right click and click on remove. And notice now the audio has gone all the way to the left. Okay. If I right click, I need to select the video. 
on the le uh, left side of the video, right click, remove, and then the video didn't go all the way. So I need to drag this back over. Now at the beginning, I should just have the introduction. Yep, and then it sounds okay. Now, because I had this entire presentation scripted, I can scroll basically to the end and I know I didn't like cough, I didn't really mess up too much. If I want to check, I can look and see if there are any, um, sometimes if I mess up on a space, I'll leave a little bit of low space where there's no sound. So you can use your sound um, uh, area or the sound wave, uh, the audio waveform to figure out if you've actually made a mistake at any point and you need to edit that out. Um, so I use that usually to figure out if I need to edit anything, but I know that this was scripted, so it's okay. So now I go to the end, and basically right before, right about there, um, there's another sound of me stopping the video. So I want to split the video at the end, split the audio at the end, and then select the ends and remove them, remove. And then I have a single video with you know, uh, not too bad, I guess, no, not too many mistakes or not mistakes that I really need to edit out. Um, um, yeah, so not too many mistakes that I need to edit out of this video and I can basically just export that and it's it should be okay for this thing. So next we want to export because I've edited the, the beginning, I've synced the tracks, uh, uh, removed the introduction part, removed the ending part um, that's not needed. Then next I can click on export because the video is ready, do export file, and I want to export this, let's say, to temp and call this, I don't know, stats, um, I'll just call it stats for now, stats.mp4. Okay, now before I do this, um, whenever you have your export file, you need to set, um, you know, what what type of export settings you want. Um, there's a lot of videos online about how to set the, the videos. There's even a preset for like YouTube or different um, social media. Um, if you're trying to do really high quality video, um, I recommend you go and, and, and look um, uh, at other videos on how to do that. There's a lot of them out there. Um, but you can basically set custom settings for you, whatever you need to do around here. Okay, so I'm going to save this as stats, save, and then it shows that it's exporting and whenever it's finished, your video is done. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.